This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 5. Hours after Chicago's parade parade, pra, uh, pride parade ended, there were two violent confrontations on the city's north side. WGN's Julian Cruz is live at police headquarters with more on Police Superintendent David Brown's response. Julian. Well, Mike and Ray, in the wake of yesterday's Pride Parade, a triple shooting and a separate stabbing incident in the East Lakeview neighborhood, leaving three individuals wounded, testing the ability of Chicago police to respond here at the Public Safety Building today. Top police commanders describing the enormous effort to keep the peace. The drunken rowdy behavior that some engaged in after, after the parade however, was very, uh, very challenging, to say the least. Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown pointing to last night's multiple stabbing on the 1000 block of West Belmont. Close to 1130 last night, three people stabbed with one woman in serious condition. Multiple police officers uh, were punched and slapped, trying to disperse unruly crowds. One officer was taken to the hospital for injuries. The violence and unrest for many, marring what had been an evening of peaceful celebration for the overwhelmingly vast majority of parade goers. I think it's really disappointing that a day that's about celebrating being your authentic self and about pride and it's full of happiness and fun turns into mayhem. And three individuals shot in East Lakeview near the 3100 block of North Clark about 1.30 this morning. No one killed but a woman shot in the abdomen is in critical condition. Officers who are nearby reacted swiftly and arrested a person of interest who's being questioned at this moment. Police say investigators quickly recovered the gun. All told, Chicago's weekend violence resulting in 20 shooting incidents. Among the victims, 24 people rushed to area hospitals, five people shot to death as a result of the violence with a total of seven homicides citywide. But despite those distressing numbers, Chicago's top cop says the trend shows a decline in shootings. June 2022 compared with June 2021, homicides are down 20%. And for that same period, shootings are down 20%. Superintendent Brown and his investigators vowing to find the individual or individuals responsible for the deadly shooting of a five-month-old girl in South Shore last Friday evening. At the Public Safety Building, Julian Cruz, WGN News. Thanks, Julian. Early vote.